Burusavne. Great. Beautiful. Of course I am. You on my own from, uh, you know, the Dharma. You came to the rainy season. And you are next to Argentina? Yeah. Raising Catholic, Catholic Church. I'm happy about her. Yeah. How are you? Maria Mata. Why not? Oh. Are you going to ask me a question? Uh, Shake my hand, no. my brother. How my are you? My brother, I'm doing good. No, you look good too. You look healthy. Thank you. Thank you, you look healthy and uh, beautiful. Of course I am. You look younger. You have, yeah. you have makeup? Pansele Hondo Madagi. Did you see that video I make with the Diago? No. Oh, so, you know what I did? I made a video with him, then I put my language subtitle English. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Maria. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, busy, yeah. Oh. Maria. Yes. And we are in Acton Temple. So I just, I want to ask you first question. What, what is the main reason to, to come to the monk, come to the temple? Any reason? Yes. Um, two years ago, I was in a very bad situation with my son and my health was being very deteriorated. I was having trouble with my stomach, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. Okay. And I tried psychologists, doctor, medicine and everything. Nothing worked out? Nothing worked out. Nothing, nothing at all. So one day uh, a friend of mine told me about uh, this temple, this Buddha's temple that I was over here. So I make an appointment with Shanti and I came and I felt something I feel understood. I felt his compassion blow my mind and fill my heart with hope, healing my body, my mm -hmm. heart. And the first time I came and visited him and I talked to him, I remember crying and telling him my frustrations about my life, my health. I felt out of uh, control. Everything was moving out of my hands so rapidly. My health, my children, it was after the COVID time too. So it was a very difficult time. But that time, his compassion and listening I feel like I came home for some reason. I don't wow. know if you uh, can relate to that. Where it's like you come into your mother's arms and somebody give you hope. The protection. Uh, protection yeah. to hold you for five minutes, 10 minutes. Wow. I slept the night. I was able to eat because I couldn't eat anything. I was uh, generally, to put you in perspective, my normal weight was around 150. In that time was 118 pounds. Wow. Never in my life, even as a baby, I was so It's like only two years back. Two years ago, wow. yes. Even as a baby, I was a chunky baby, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was very scared because I would keep losing and losing this weight and, and the pain and so forth and so on. So, and then I came back again, you know, he gave me the blessings and the prayer, and I felt like I cleansed, some clean, something was left after, after my spirit, okay. my heart, you know? And so that's what I continue, and for two years, came to the um, rain retreats every Saturday. Rain retreat. Yes. It's I, called, we call it, uh, was. Uh, like a rainy season, yeah. Right. Yeah, rainy season, okay. I follow his classes on Facebook every day for two years. And I used to come very often, very faithfully, every Sunday yeah. to meditate, yeah. to listen to this lecture, and to feel the peace, the strength that he make you um, discover within yourself again. I think the most profound thing that I learned from him is to find my own light. Like your light. My own hope, my own understanding that I'm in control of my life. That through meditation, through the Buddha's teaching, to the car, Dharma, and the Sangha, I can let it go so many things. Mm -hmm. Understand life, accept many things for life, but also have a support system, an extended family, and the Sangha, and a dear friend, and the Dharma in Venerable Chanti, he's the best. When you come to the temple and you learn about Buddha, 
Yes, first I started to come to the Sunday class and then taking classes every night uh, on Facebook, uh, through Facebook, and then uh, to come to the rainy season, to be part of the community, to, to feel the spirit of in peaceful, kind, generosity, uh, spirit, to be part of the community and also uh, to start reading on my own from uh, you know the Dharma and to see the beautiful example of uh, Venerable Shanti and his teachings uh, every Sunday or every retreat I try to participate to get very involved that's the way I continue and progress in this change of my life you are originally from Mexico huh? no I'm from Chile South Chile America. oh you Chile like Chileana Yes, I call Chile. 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 You are from Chile. That means you are next to Argentina. Yes. Uh, longest country in the world, I think. Yes. You're born religion, you're Catholic or Christian? Yeah. I was born a uh, Catholic church and uh, practicing the values of compassion and one God, all those things that I learned uh, through my um, uh, life, you know, from my family, the school. And, um, and even though one time I asked um, Venerable Shanti, should I have a conflict with believing this and practicing uh, this uh, philosophy, uh, Buddhism? And he said, no, you should be very grateful to God, to your belief, because they have brought you to this path. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You see? Yeah. It's a way to... There's uh, no barrier. Buddhism is... You know, you know, it's a philosophy that teaches you how to accept life, how to get rid of suffering, how to understand life with coming home. When religious teach us there's a God that you have to follow, it's nothing wrong with that, but with this philosophy, you take control of your life. You do the work to clean your mind, to slow down, to lose attachment to get rid of work and no suffer and don't make other people suffer because of your own suffering true you know because when we are full of anger we affect the people that we live with yeah or when we love somebody so extreme or we worry we worry about the son or the daughter we don't do any good to the ones that are around us but when we accept that life, they are our children, they are not ours. The life is a journey. True. That we need to be in the present moment. That we need to accept good and bad without judging and have compassion for ourselves more than anything. Have compassion that we are beings that we're still alive. We are learning a lesson and we're giving this guide to have a better life, to do no harm to ourselves and others, and to be grateful just to be here, present, and be loving and compassionate. Yeah. That's, to me, that's the most important lesson, to don't waste this right, which is called life, this privilege, what it calls yeah. life, fearing what I'm gonna have, what I'm not gonna have, with the trying to control this and that, or fear death. No, we're just here to be peaceful, to be loving, and to most not to be afraid of who we are. Will you reincarnation? I have, because of my religious belief, I have sometimes my doubts, but I also am open because one life is not enough to learn yeah. what we need to learn. Also, because we are. Um, uh, spiritual beings in a physical body we don't know enough life goes so fast one life goes yeah. so fast and for some point I say me I would have my time when I'm Maria Manny I'm the wrong on the golic and she's from Chile South America so she said uh, up to you how do I'm gonna pass it she said her life changed may my mea me church take a time I better carry oh you work with church Okay? Yeah, I think. Oh, it passes in 
मेडिटेशन क्लास आवे बलपानेट मेडिटेशन and little by little you understood right yes so and uh, i am happy about her okay yeah. then <laughs> thank you so much thank you so i'm going to send this video yeah. fair with subtitle no no worries no worries i don't get pay how much can you pay me some money thank you thank you thank you thank you thank no you. problem buru sarnay buru sarnay buru sarnay wait loke yaad nasi vairagini